Welcome to this channel. I'm Mrs. Sejuma, your instructor. This week we'll be considering another topic, Christian living in the community. Christian living in the community. And our memory verse will be taken from Matthew chapter 5 verse 14 to 16. And it reads, You are the light of the world. A city set on a hill cannot be hidden. Nor do people light a lamp and put it under a basket, but on a stand, and it gives light to all the house. In the same way, let your light so shine before others, so that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father who is in heaven. This verse emphasizes that Christians are the light of the world. As we are being called children of God, our light must reflect the life of Christ. When Jesus Christ was on earth, everybody knew him. They knew him as a son of God. So, every follower of Jesus Christ must follow the pattern of the Lord and shine the light of Christ. Our learning objective state thus. At the end of this class, you should be able to explain the meaning of being a true witness for Christ, explain the importance of living through good examples, discuss some of the social vices in the society such as corruption, drug, sexual promiscuity, point out the importance of tolerance and peaceful coexistence, and finally describe some of the civic responsibility. Now we go. Who is a true witness of Christ? A true witness is one who cannot be bribed or bought for any price. A true witness of Christ will not take bribe, neither will not do, neither will he do anything that would defy the name of Christ in him. Is one who believes in God when he says, What shall he profit a man if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Is a person who believes God's word, which tells him, Thou shalt not bear false witness against a neighbor. For whosoever shall keep the whole law and yet offend in one point is guilty of all. A true witness of, of Christ is the person that, that stands by the word of God, obey all the commandments of God, then go out to preach the gospel to other people that are yet to see the light of God. What are the importance of living through good examples? As Christians, when we live through good examples, our life will draw others to the Lord. We preach by our life. Salvation of others will be, will be possible through the life we live. Titus chapter 2, verse 7 to 8 says, In all things, show yourself to be a pattern of good works in that tree, showing integrity and reference, incorruptibility, sound speech that cannot be condemned. That one who is an opponent will be ashamed, having nothing evil to say of you. Yes, when we are children of God, we should live that, that type of life that people will not be able to find, find any fault in us. Just like Daniel, there was no fault found in him. When we live the life of Christ, salvation is enhanced through godly living. It is the fastest and easiest way to win others to Christ. It distinguishes us from the world. Of course, people will see the difference. They will be able to tell we are children of God because we don't do the things that the people of the world do every day. Matthew chapter 5 verse 14 says, You are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. By this, all, by this, all we know that we are children of God. So, importance of living through God, good examples. Number one, our life will be attracted to others and thereby call them into God's kingdom. It will distinguish us also from the world they will be able to win others to Christ through godly living. 
Now let's see some of the examples of social vices in the society. What do we mean by social vices? Social vices are acts of indiscipline. They are vices that are common among males and female youths in the world today. Examples include prostitution, we all know prostitution, a, a female selling the body in, for the gain of money, indecent dressing, which, which is the order of the day. We see some of our youths, they dress naked, half, half naked, exposing their parts. You know, these are parts of social vices. Seducing men here, even in the church, in the workplace, we have robbery, we have courtesy belonging to a secret court, which is common in the campus today. We have pocket picking, stealing. We have drug addiction. Our youths are found guilty of all these things. You see them engaging in drug. You take drug to go high. They take drug to, to calm down. So many. Examination and practice is also among the social vices we experience in, in the society. Students that go to school, they find it difficult to read, to understand and assimilate. When it is time for examination, they start, you know, stealing, cheating. We have hooliganism, we have violence, torture, gambling. What do you mean by gambling? Paying lottery for money. We have smoking. We have primar primarital sexual activities and we have rape. You can see the picture down here of drug. After this, they inject in their body, they take the one they swallow with uh, water or anything again. These are social vices that is rampaging the world today. What are the importance of tolerance? When there is tolerance among Christians, tolerance will create a society in which people can feel valued and respected. When there is tolerance in the society, people will feel respected because you know me, you tolerate me, I tolerate you, we will respect each other. Tolerance creates a society in which people can feel valued and respected and in which there is room for every person, each with their own ideas, thoughts and dreams. Importance of tolerance. Tolerance, it is an essential aspect of a healthy and functional society. When there is tolerance among the members of the society, it will help the society to grow well. It will function well because there won't be hatred, there won't be fighting. Everything will go on smoothly in the society. Nobody will sus suspect anybody. There won't, it, there won't be suspicion. It is the only way in which a country as diverse as Lebanon, political, religious, economic, can function and use each difference to make it possible to make its people thrive rather than suffer. Tolerance is the only way by which our community can grow. So if we can tolerate one another, there will be peace in the world. What are the civic responsibility that Christians must partake in? Civic responsibility can be defined as the responsibility of a citizen and some of them can be seen below. It is good that every Christian should support and defend the constitution and laws of the country. We should not isolate ourselves, we should abide because the Bible says we should have regard for those that rule over us. Stay informed of the issues affecting your community. When you live in the community, you should not just stand hiding. You should not isolate yourself. You should not stand on the fence. You should get involved in everything going on in the society. Be it maybe during voting, you go and cast your vote. You pay your tax. These are the things every Christian must get involved with in the society. Also, as part of civic responsibility of a Christian, there should be participates, participation in the democratic process respect and obey federal state and local laws in times of election you go out and vote you cast your vote you respect every law at every level both the federal law the state law the local law there's no one that you should violate respect we should the christian should respect the rights the beliefs and opinions of others 
the leaders in the community, the chief, the hemians, as long as we're living together in the community, there should be respect for every law. You should participate in your local community. On environmental day, come out and play your role. Pay income and other taxes honestly and on time to federal, state and local authority. It should not be found among Christians that we are hoeing. You pay your tax, you pay every dues and everything goes smoothly. You should serve on a jury when called upon. Defend the country if the need should arise. As God bless you with money and there are some people suffering in the community, try and play your role. You can give them. You give to the needy, you give to people that have gone to school and yet they don't have work. If you have means to help them with some job, you can help them. In conclusion, Christians should consider it very important to pray for the power of the Holy Spirit to meet God's requirements and appropriately to serve Him in truth and in holiness. We should ask God to make us good examples for others to emulate. When we are as a Christian in the community, our life should portray the life of Christ, draw people's attention to the Lord. And when all these things happen, the world will be at peace, souls will be one for Christ, and the kingdom of God will be populated and God will be happy with us. May we ever remain a true ambassador for Jesus Christ now and ever. So today we have seen the topic Christian living in the community. We have seen some of the social vices and importance of living in the community that even though there are social vices like a hand robbery, like stealing, like drug trafficking, the Christian life should stand out. The Christian should stand out. Christians should not participate in all these social I army mean, activities. Our life should portray the life of Christ. And conclusion, we have seen that it pays to serve the Lord. Wherever you may be, set an example of a child of God. Thank you, Arimeos.